So everything in chronology is, came from this very sketch. A, a doodle I did of an old man and a snail walking together. And that later turned into a time travel game, platform game, where you control this man and his snail friend who's, who's saving the world. So everything came from a small idea or a small doodle. And then with our combined minds, we created something bigger, like a vision of, of what could this be if the team of, of the, a couple of guys went together and took our different talents and combined that into something. Well, what would come out of it? And that's what you see now in the game. I mean, basically, we didn't have any fixed idea about about the style at the beginning. We just tried different things. We just decided we want to go for something more, you know, that what you can see in some uh, animated movies or illustrated books and stuff like that. I also like a lot you know, Miyazaki movies as well as Neil. We feel that we need some, you know, some colorful game. Well, so we went for that kind of uh, fantasy style. Uh, I guess we, we spent we spent several months to reach that moment, uh, but we were pretty satisfied at the end. In January this year, um, the company who funded the game crashed. Uh, it was a sad day uh, for all of us. It felt like something something out of our hands were kind of taking down this this game that we worked so hard on for this long. And we, we, we felt we felt bad just first just because of our time and because of our passion and then we felt bad because we imagined to deliver a great experience to to a player. And we felt like we are not gonna have the chance to do that. We were all bummed out but after that we also were really uh, we were all also really determined to, to finish this thing, so we found another way and with help of our friends and families, and we found a way to move on and we were actually developing again and very, very close to releasing our game, so that's really awesome to, to go there. It's, it's, it's really great to, to come up from those kind of uh, up and downs, uh, like now you're up, next day you're just down and then you try to resurrect from from the ashes and, and try to, to achieve it. <laughs> For me it's definitely been the best experience so far making a game because the whole process has been so personal and everyone has been giving their all to make it their game and everyone has taken responsibility that they would perform their best to make it a great game. And, and we had no outside pressure because we were doing it for ourselves. So we plan to release the game on Steam uh, somewhere in May and then after that we plan to roll on, on uh, iOS and Windows Phone.